the declutter effect. I want to explore a thought-provoking question you threw at me the other day. Have we become a soulless content factory? And I know why you're asking this. In this era that's dominated by digital media and people just constantly consuming, we need to take time and reflect on the quality and purpose of the content that we do create and consume. Well, it's no secret that the digital landscape has evolved rapidly and it's shaping the way that we communicate, we entertain, and engage with the world around us. So with the explosion of social media platforms, blogs, online businesses, it can feel like we're living in a world that just never stops, it never sleeps. And it's just constantly churning out content after content after content. But in the middle of all that, all that constant barrage of information, that's the thought that's often in my mind. And why I ask you that is, have we become mere content factories? Mindlessly producing without, you know, any thought or purpose? The way you are describing it, it's so gloomy. <laughs> I didn't mean to ruin the vibe, but, you know, it's just a thought on my mind. But, you know, no denying that the digital age has given rise to a flood of content. With tech, anyone can become a content creator. However, quantity should never replace quality. And while it's true that there may be content out there that you'll think are soulless, it's important to remember that there's always room for good value-adding content. Absolutely. Creating content that enriches the world should be the primary focus, whether it's an insightful article, it's a captivating podcast such as this, wink wink, or a thought-provoking video on YouTube or wherever, the content we produce should always strive to connect with others on a much deeper level. It's not about mindlessly adding to the noise. As you all know, there's, you know, there's so much noise out there, but it's about crafting something meaningful and purposeful. And to combat that soullessness of the content factory, we must be proactive. We should claim our space in the digital landscape. And this means being intentional, you know, about the content we consume and actively seeking out creators who align with our values and interests. By curating our online experience, we can ensure that the content we engage adds value to our lives. So there's this thing called doom scrolling, and I know that we're all a victim of that. We just keep on, you know, scrolling. We're on an app all day long. We don't notice that we're already spending an hour or so on TikTok or on YouTube. So that's it. You're speaking on the side of creators, but what I am thinking about are the consumers who on their everyday lives are being bombarded by volumes of content. I think it is with the responsibility that whenever you try to open your phone or your laptop, it's important to be responsible when it comes to how you are consuming content. That is why the word mindful is important. It's essential to be mindful as consumers and as creators. By supporting those who produce meaningful content, we send a message that quality matters. As creators, we should prioritize authenticity and originality, injecting our passion and purpose into everything we create. So, how do we bridge the gap between soulless content factories and purpose-driven creation? Based on our experience in the industry on how clients have succeeded in their own fields, the answer lies in finding our true passion and aligning it with a greater purpose. When passion meets purpose, anything we do, whether in business or in life, will always produce something that betters the world. Well said. And I couldn't agree more. Passion meets purpose. When we tap into our passions and use them as a driving force behind our content creation, we infuse our work with authenticity and meaning. It's about finding that sweet spot where our interests and talents converge with a desire to make a positive impact. Because at the end of the day, content creation should be about impact. And it should be about bettering the world, bettering other people. And that positive impact doesn't have to be grandiose either. It doesn't have to be super like 
affecting so many people. Even the smallest contribution can ripple outward. And I love how that sparks meaningful conversations and inspiring others just to take action. We should remember that our content has the power to shape opinions, to educate, and then most importantly, to bring people together. As ideal as it may sound, the way you are presenting things, we need to be intentional when it comes to yep. bringing out what's yep, yep, yep. good and what's best in terms of content creation. On the contrary, in the advertising-driven society that we have right now, where companies would like to influence and study every consumer behavior for the sake of profit, I think that what makes content creation becoming soulless mm. in its essence mm. because you were driven by profit and you want to flood every platforms with your marketing content should i say yeah but i want to and we're gonna link it in our show notes but we have an episode about branding and branding does have a benefit especially for the audiences so you know me ever the optimist so i want to remain optimistic about marketing and branding, content creation in general, that there's always going to be a safe place where people can just engage, interact, learn, be inspired, and, you know, just be better and a place just to learn. So what you are saying is to go beyond profit and numbers and volumes in terms of creating content. Passion meets purpose. All right. <laughs> so let's reclaim the digital landscape from the Soulless Content Factory Let's create with purpose, share with intention, and consume with mindfulness. Because by doing so, we can create a shift towards a more enriching online experience. One that fosters connection, growth, and genuine engagement. It's up to us to shape the content landscape. When passion meets purpose, we have the power to transform the digital world. One thoughtfully created piece of content at a time. And that's our 10 minutes as promised. Thanks for listening. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our podcast so you never miss an episode. This is Team Declutter. Signing off. Take care. Stay curious. And bye for now. Declutter Effect.